Welcome back, everybody. Oh, he's still here. Keep hearing his noise, and it is my friendly little neighborhood Andrew man. Just sitting there causing trouble. I don't know if he's stuck on the stairs and just doesn't want to move until I aggravate him. He can teleport. It is kind of annoying because I can't use this bed because. Uh, there's monsters nearby. So, oh, trying to remember what we were doing. I finished up our restroom, so enough, enough bathroom talk. So we're going to move on to other things. So I want to get started over here on a blacksmith. So this corner over here is going to be the blacksmith area. I'm just one, two, three, four, like that. And I don't know if I'm counting correctly. I'm just sort of guesstimating. So we'll do this, and then uh, let's just want to. design in there let's see here there oops let's put my inventory is super full you see all the slabs that's because i'm going to work on the floor next Let's do this there. I want to make sure I get plenty of lighting through here. Because it's very aggravating to have mobs spawning. So if I do this, we should be able to get enough light. I'll have to clean it like that. And just put a light there. There. And this part isn't really blacksmith. This is just just finishing the wall so I can actually put in my shop. And I did go and gather up a few uh, blackstone, not blackstone, deep slate. Oh yeah, I think that's going to be okay. Because I want to, for some reason, the deep slate seems, deep or blackstone, seems to work really well for uh, these blacksmith shops. And because it's got that hot and kind of uh, burnt, you know, atmosphere about it. Oops, that's not right. Let's put another torch here. That's like to scatter torches about just even if you know up here the lighting really doesn't make a difference, but at night the walls will glow, which is kind of cool. So that's that. I'll have to get some more blocks to finish that out. Yeah, it's going to be a really stone, stone wall there. So on this part, the, maybe the courtyard here, I kind of went with this red and uh, spruce. So now the road is going to head off in this direction. Oops. And I picture this road is going to go down here and all the way out to the end. Because we're going to have some stables over there. And then this wall or this hill here is going to be coming in. And then there may just be seeding and other miscellaneous stuff around there. So pushing this way, we're kind of going away from this look. 
Uh, not with the nether brick, though. Where is... Oh, yeah, jungle. I thought we could... Something like that. So the majority of it is going to be a stone brick. Every once in a while we'll have this oak and jungle, you know, kind of decoration in the ground here. Sort of breaks it up. Doesn't, you know, it takes away that boring look to it. And even once we get over here, maybe we would, uh, you know, have something like this. Just trying to get a pattern, add a little color and, you know, something to the city sometimes you tend to just put in like brick or whatever and it's, or even just shades of gray and the shades of gray sometimes get a little uh, a little boring There's no real, uh, no real pattern I'm following. I'm just sort of randomly putting these little, little highlights in here. So I imagine this is going to go all the way over there. I'm leaving in a lot of free open space around this thing. I'm going to put in a fence here. Probably like I did over there. I did this, uh, I guess these are Merlons and Colonels. I just, this little jagged edge here so if we uh, do the same on this other wall not sure how successful that's going to be just based on how uh, how it is hard you know how hard it is to go around corners oh see like that see that's not going to work and is this going to be too low yeah, see, that's going to be too low. And the other's too floaty. I think what we're going to have to do is trade in... There, get some cobble here. So trade in the slabs for actual cobblestone. And if we do this... A lot of times I do this right on the, like on the edge of a building, so you get that castle look. But in this one, we're just doing it on the edge of the wall around the city. So I guess it still gives you that castle look from the outside of the city. ugly thinking I may have to start putting in some slabs here too See if I've got any. Well, I've got some more diorite, but I'm running out of space. Oh, and it's nighttime, and I can't sleep here because of that silly Enderman. 
I think I'm going to have to do a mixture of stairs and slabs and whole blocks. Something like that. Maybe going into a whole block here. I tried putting like that, but I don't don't really like the way that looks. Did I drop that? No, I must have picked it up. Hard to tell with the snow down there. I think I'm going to have to end up doing like this. Yeah, and this doesn't look as bad as it did the other way. It's still a little, I think it's a little clunky around this corner. But I don't believe there's a way around uh, getting, you know, having the clunkiness. Maybe something like that. Like that, maybe. Yeah, see, I don't like the way those two things line up weird. Maybe something like that. Even this looks a little weird. And I don't know why I'm spending so much time playing around with a wall, but... Yeah, maybe something like this. Maybe if I do, like, that. Yeah, something like that, maybe. And I'm going to have to try and carry this all the way down. Which is not a problem, it's just... Like, these straight stretches are going to be easy. It's just these curves. The curves are very messy. And I'm still going to figure a way to get the villagers. Well, maybe if I just build a nice stairway up and over, the villagers can come in there naturally. That might be better. Like that. Yeah, then once we get the straight stretch, it's like piece of cake here. Or maybe it's not so much of a piece of cake. Yeah, so that's what the wall. I wonder what that's going to look like outside. I don't think I've ever took a token don't think i've ever took it what kind of language is well you should know by now i can't i don't really make proper sentences half the time i've not gone and looked or i've not walked over here and and i spied the wall to see what it looks like with this let's go over here and take a look yeah i think that'll be okay once i get the uh the actual wall part added in there. I think it's going to add a nice touch on there. And the wall part's going to be here. Oh, that's, yeah. Oh, well, that's odd. I'm going to have to look at this again. Because the wall part's going to be here. Well, maybe I'll, be, maybe I'll just put a double wall there. I don't see a problem with that. Why would I look at that? Look how gray that is. You can really not see. You can't really see. You cannot really see. It's kind of hard to see any differences in the textures. If I do something like that, I think that will really uh, bring it out. And it'll go with the uh, look I have over here for the blacksmith. Like that. Let's see, what do I got over here? I got this here. And maybe these. There, something like that. 
that's much better because it was just it was just way too way too gray and that's what i'm trying to avoid like on this one i've added in different contrasts on here so you can really see and even on the outside wall i think if we go over to the outside wall i add in a lot of uh, a lot of different contrasts so you you can really see the textures and stuff and when you just do one plain brick stone brick for everything you lose all the textures There, get my scaffolding out here. So like here, I can... You just put a stripe across. There. This is pretty straight. There. And like here. Is that right? I need to put a block there. There. Oops. Now like here. So I'll fill in that torch there and maybe a couple here. And I just need to get to the top to finish it. But that's going to look a lot better than just doing one solid uh, brick color. It does take a lot more time to do it because you actually have to, you just can't put one you want to block your inventory and go run it with it. Oops. I think it comes out with a better product that way. Then I'll just put a fence. Probably a spruce fence along the top here. Oh yeah, like I did over there. And that'll cap this wall off. Oh, I missed one. No, no. Doesn't have a real pattern to it, but it does break it up a bit. I do see one mistake that I need to fix. So like here, just want to fill in that. And then over here, Of course, sworn I can't do scaffolding. So over here, I'm going to go through. Do that. Yeah, that's much better. Much better, much better. So now I just need to do the courtyard. So where I had a different, you know, we're going with a different kind of a different style here with different highlights. I'm going to do the same thing over here, but we're going to do more of a nether brick highlight on this side. But before I put in the courtyard here, I think I want to lay out the walls for the furnace. So this is going to be, really, I don't need, I waste my deep slate if I don't have to. A little bit of cobble will do. So 
So this far corner is going to be where the blacksmith shop is. So the furnace is probably going to go over in this corner here. So this will be the building. The building will go up here and then the wall will continue up on top of the building all the way up that way. But this is going to be the floor of the building right here. And then we'll probably have a courtyard that goes around on this side. So this is the actual working part. So this will be, there'll be a furnace in the corner and then anvils and stuff here. And then over on this side, this is going to be where the wall is. Like there. So I imagine we're going to have a shop like right here. So customers will come in there. Maybe there'll be like a little office area here. And then this, ooh, I'm going to need to get more deep slate. This will be the shop and it's going to have armor stands, weapons, all that kind of you know, all that on display for people to buy. So you can come in here, you either buy your new armor or you can, you know, commission them to fix your armor and then they would go back here and fix it in the front. So this would be the workshop part and this would be the shop part. And I'm gonna, I can run it right up against here because we've got such a big courtyard here. Let me double check. I don't know if I have any deep slide. I may have to go down. I've got cobbled, but I don't have normal deep slide. So I will have to go down and get some more of that. So like I said, I'm picturing the wall will go here. And then I'm just leaving a little corridor here so you can go around the building and get to the back of it without having to go through the building. And actually this should be a wall, which will cover up part of my design. Unless I do some kind of angle thing. I may, may do something there with the design. There. There. Doesn't leave much room for design in the floor, but I am going to put one there. And then like here. So let's just start over here on this. So I think I'm gonna this, 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 there, 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 there. Then we'll go back to this like this there i had prismarine so i thought it'd be kind of cool to mix that in into this build as i said it's going to be you know deep slate bricks but I'm going to add a little bit of this prismarine highlight to it. I think that's going to really help you know, bring out the building. And then maybe this here. Just for something different. That looks really green. And then maybe even, so like, let's say the door is here.
Well, it's not, maybe not that far. Just sort of kind of highlight where the door is going into it. I saw this thing on Roman cities. And I guess on the shops and stuff, I don't know if it was Pompeii or someplace, they had cover, uncovered the road. And in front of the buildings, there would be mosaics describing what the building was about. So you come by and you see a mosaic of people like making wine or whatever. So that'd be a wine shop. And you got one where they're making mosaic of bread and stuff. That'd be a bakery or a mosaic with a bunch of women offering their wares. And that would be a house of ill repute or I guess a, uh, where the prostitutes lived, which I seen watching something on Pompeii and there seem to be an awful lot of those. That seemed to be like the major business on some areas of the place. Go away. Heading off to get some more deep slate. And I forgot I had not lit up this area over here, so there were creepers and zomboids, and I am actually going the wrong direction. I need to be going down instead of up. I thought I heard. Okay. There we go. I still here. Still here, zombies. Oh, a spider. That's what I was. It's lit, so he should be less, you know, less likely to attack me. There must be a hidden cave behind the walls here, because I hear, I hear them growling, but I don't hear. Uh, I don't see a place to go. So. So now I need to find. I I have a. I have a cave down. I just don't know where it is. Oh, I'm sure it's not down here. But we'll see what we got down here. Okay, there's nothing down here. Oh, well, there we go. That's where all the noise is coming from. Oh, just one? I know there's a lot more around here, but I just don't know where they're at. 